Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the quest, The Lost Shipment. The quest requirements are that you must be able to spend over 11 silver. And for the professional requirements, you must have at least level 25 in Fisherman. As well as you must be able to defeat a level 30. So being level 25 or higher is recommended. If your level in guard is between 20 and 30, then you'll definitely need a strength potion and multiple healing potions. And for the final requirement is to have some empty backspace as we may not equip anything related to a guard. The easiest way is to simply unequip them and putting them in your backpack. You could also just store them at the quartermaster if you really need to. That is it for the requirements. Where we can start this quest is west of Brenna's hallway. It is located west of the boulevard, west of the town square. Here we'll find the NPC called Cohen. Let's talk to him and select the fourth option that you're here on behalf of the city guard. You needed help with something? Then select the second option, so what do you need? And lastly, select the first option, where should I start looking? The other three options don't do anything, let's close the interface and let's make our way back to the town square. Next, we will need to head south from the town square to make our way to Hookland at Central Waterfront. So south of Eel Street, there will be the Central Waterfront. Just make a U-turn into that pub. Now before entering this pub, make sure that you go to your equipment and unequip anything that has a guard in its name. Once everything is in your backpack or at the Quartermaster, let's enter this pub. Now let's talk to the two NPCs at the first table, Wellington or Nelson. And let's select the fourth option, I wish I could find a seller for Carthian Blombatai. And this will trigger Heron Slant making his way over to you. Let's continue the conversation with him and select option 1. Who is this person who can supply me? And then select the second option that you're not familiar with it. After we've done this, and the other four options are not necessary, let's close this conversation and go back south. Let's now make our way east to the most eastern dock. Let's go east of Boardwalk. And then at the east waterfront, let's go to the most eastern dock, to Vincible, and then click on the ship. Let's go talk to the captain. And select option 2 and then 1. The second option is maybe I can entertain you somehow. And then the first option, why don't we just go right now? Next, let's use our Hope Port Teleport and let's make our way to the restaurant on the other side of the street of the Elk Me Store or the Apothecary next to the training ground. I think the fastest way would be to simply use a teleport. Once here at the Stone Street, let's enter the restaurant and talk to the captain sitting at the furthest table. And next, we will need to select option 122121. Waiter, can I have a chicken pie please? Then option 2, here you go, 2 silver and 760 copper. Then select option 2 again, saying that you're an aspiring hero. One day I will save the world. Now that he knows a little bit more about you, select the first option. I heard that you lost shipment for Cohen the Steward. Then select the second option. You met an imposter, that's terrible. 
and then select the first option that maybe I could track down the imposter for you, and he will describe the imposter. After this conversation is over, let's exit this restaurant and go to the town square. Southwest of town square, you'll find a man in a waistcoat, like he has a stick up his ass. Let's select option one four times. I heard you recently obtained blubber type. Oops. Let's select the first option again, Captain Shirker. And then option one again, what is the plan? And then option one or two, that does not matter at all. Let's make our way east. To be able to infiltrate the Illusion Gang, we must have a disguise. This time, we will need to be the imposter. But therefore, we will need to head to the hairdresser. Let's talk to him and select the third option. I would like a monobrow, please. Then select the second option. Here you go. That is 8 silver and 280 copper. There is one more step that we can do before we need our 25 fishing. And therefore, we will need to grab a quill and paper. I forgot to do that at the mansion. So let's go back to Town Square and back into the mansion of Branov. Let's go into the northern room and in here take some paper and take a quill and ink. With these two items added to our tool belt, let's click on the paper, use item on, on the quill, and select the second option that you'd like to write an order for Carithian Plumatai. And with this, you have quest item 2 out of 3. Alright, from this point forward, you must have level 25 Fisherman. Alright, once you have level 25 in Fisherman, let's exit the hairdresser and let's make our way back to Town Square. From... oh yeah, you can't use the minimap. From Town Square, let's head south, back to Waterfront. And once at Waterfront, let's make our way back to East Beach, where we've gathered the brown kelp for the healing potion during the tutorial. Here at Sea Road, next to East Beach, let's go north instead of south. North of Sea Road, let's enter the next chunk to Overground Pond. Go in the water and you should see some pondweed and also one lone fish, a fetid flounder. Catch it. And once we have this, let's make our way to the fish cellar. You have level 25 in Fisherman, so you should probably know where the fishmonger is located. He is located in Eel Street, south of Town Square. Here at the fishmonger, let's go to our quest list, to the last shipment, and click on the fish, use item on, and use it on our order. To fit inside, let us now use item on the fishmonger, and use this quest item. Next. Let's click on the bush next to the stall, and this will trigger a cutscene.
once the cutscene is over. Let's follow this stranger into the street of Pufferfish. And continue following him. We can kind of see where he's going. You're kind of zooming in on the guy. Like, seriously. <laughs> I know. Let's go. Let's go into the alleyway with thieves, I think. Was that the one next to it? Oh no, this was the locked up building. Since we already went to the hairdresser to get a mono brow, don't remove it. We can impersonate being the man called Mono Brow Sam. Let's try to open the door and select the fourth option. That I am Mono Brow Sam. And after they have opened the door for you, let's enter the thieves then. Still without having your car gear equipped. And talk to the nearby thief. Select option 2 twice. Let's select the second option. Let's see these weapons. Then option 2 again, that you're under arrest for the possession of stolen goods. This will make the thief aggressive and start attacking you. Immediately cast immunity. After the immunity has been cast, we can start equipping all of our guard equipment as well as maybe drinking a strength potion if your guard level is level 30 or below. To get one or two free shots, tag the thief using your bow. When it is in melee distance, then of course start using your best in slot melee weapon. And when your HP bar is below 80%, make sure that you drink your 20% healing potion, as being able to consume another potion will take quite some time. Meaning that your mouse must only be standing on top of your healing potion. And once you're able to drink it, drink it immediately, and that is it. Unlike in RuneScape, Retaliation will do it automatically, so your mouse just needs to stay above your healing potion. Click on it whenever you can. Do this for both fights. Ah, no, bro. Are you fucking serious? How am I gonna defeat at level 30? I'm just too weak. I'm level 22. I'm too fucking weak, aren't I? Seriously, bro. Hit a 12. No! This is it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! Yes, bro! Only died five times. After the cutscene is over and the guards have already left, didn't do anything, let's click on the crate, take from. And congratulations, you've completed the lost shipment quest. You are awarded with... Rare Carthium Blabenti, which is a level 30 archery weapon, 15,600 fisherman experience and 17,200 guard experience. So sadly, you will need to be level 30 or higher to be able to equip these new ranged weapons. And this was my guide how to complete the quest, the lost shipment. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.